Hello everybody, it's been a little while and uh, I want to get back into doing some Blender modeling for you. Now, this is going to be relative uh, beginner type stuff, okay? And what I want to do is I want to model a sci-fi crate. I've done some before, but I want to show you step by step uh, what I'm going to be doing, all right? And so if you're a relative beginner and you want to follow along, I'm going to come over here and I'm going to switch over to Cycles so I can use GPU Compute, my video card. And I've just got the default cube there and nothing else. And uh, we'll turn my screencast keys on, make sure they're on. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bevel this. So I'm gonna go into edit mode. And I'm, I like to do this in uh, edge selection. Doesn't really matter what you choose, but I click there. And I'm gonna go control B and I'm gonna pull and I'm just gonna get an effect like this. So already it looks sort of like a sci-fi crate, sort of, but we'll do a little bit more work than that. Um, Okay, let's go back into object mode and we'll put a, a bevel modifier on here. So click on the wrench, add modifier, bevel. I'm going to choose under segments, I'm going to choose five. All right, and under offset 0 0.02, I'm going to choose. I'm going to leave it at that for now. I'm not going to adjust anything else. So I've got a little bevel on my beveled cube. Okay, now uh, there's going to be a top, a mid piece and a bottom. And so I'm going to go into edit mode. I think uh, do I want to do this right now? <clears throat> yeah, I think I do. So I'm going to press three to go into face selection. I'm going to select that top face, or I could have just clicked there. And I'm going to go Control Plus. Now we'll expand my what is selected by another region. I want just that region, and that's it. So I'm going to press P to separate by selection back into object mode and now I've got the top separate there I'm just going to move it up I'm going to have my gizmo there my transform tool right on this so I'm with the top selected instead origin and geometry now what I want to do is I want to go into edit mode and two for edge selection shift alt and click that edge and I'm just going to extrude it down a bit I'm going to hit E to extrude and I'm going to pull it down and I'll just create that little lip there that I want all right, so that's going to be the top. I'm not going to worry about anything else for the moment. Okay, so I've moved this up, but my 3D cursor is still right down there, right at the center of the universe, and that's fine. I'll press 1 to look from the front, and I'm going to mirror this. So I'm going to go into edit mode, make sure everything's deselected, control R, click. That'll put an edge loop right down in the middle because of the size of my cube. It'll go right in the middle. I'm going to go into wireframe. And I'm going to box select this section here. Make sure that's not selected. Box select that selection there. X vertices. That'll leave just this half. I can come over to the modifiers and choose mirror in the X. Put clipping. And I think I'm going to move it with this arrow above. Back in a solid view. And you can see that I've got this. Whatever I do now to this side is going to affect the other side. So I don't want to do that. Okay, cool. All right, I'm going to press 3 to come and look from the side. So this is the side and this was the front. And it makes some handles here. So I'm going to put an edge loop right in the middle. Control R, just like that. Click. It doesn't look like it goes all the way across because I'm just working on this side, but it will be mirrored to the other side. I'm going to press 2 to go into edge selection. I just prefer that for this. And I'm going to go Control B to bevel, and I'm going to pull. I just want to make a section in here of about that width. Okay, so we've got a little bit of space on either side. Okay, deselect Control A. And what we're going to do is I am going to select this face. So I press 3 to go into face selection, select this face, X faces, get rid of that. 2 to go into edge selection and select that edge. I'm going to extrude this out a little ways, and I want to extrude it out to this edge right here. In fact, it might be a little easier if I turn off the bevel for the moment so you can see what I'm doing. All right, so I'm going to hit E to extrude. I'm going to pull it out, but and you can see it's happening on the other side. But how far? I want it to go right to this edge. So I'm going to turn on snapping. This horseshoe, snap, choose edge. And I'm just going to move this in the axe. I'm just moving it, and I'm going to hover my mouse over this edge right there. So it's now come out to the exact position. Turn snapping off, and with that edge selected, I'm going to select this edge and go 
doesn't have to make a face. Select this one and this one F, and this one and this one F. Let's turn the bevel back on so you can see what's going on. Okay, so I just have that so far. Okay, now we're going to cut into this. There's another edge loop here. Control B, pull to about maybe, I don't know, maybe there or something. We're just gonna, this, is good. this is gonna be the side of the handles. So I'm gonna have that, so we're gonna cut this out. Three for face selection and select both of those faces. I just held down shift so I could get both of them, X faces. And I can turn off the bevel again if you want, just a little TV thing. I mean, what we're gonna do is we're gonna rebuild the inside. So two for edge selection, select that edge, pull down, but I want it to be the same height as this. So I'm gonna turn on snapping to edge again. And I can pull up and down, just pull down and hover your mouse over there. Turn that off with that edge selected, just select that one, F to make a face. And then select this one and this one, F, and this one and this one, F. Okay, turn the bevel back on so you see what we got. Okay, now, so far so good. Let's look at the other side. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, I think, is let's make a little, this a bit more interesting. Press 1 to go into edge uh, or vertex selection. Select this vertex and this one. And let's try this one and this one. And let's try something with me here. Let's try scaling in the Y. That's Y. Let's say pull it out to about there. Let's just have a look over on this side. See what I'm getting at. Now we can, we'll make an adjustment here in a minute. I think that's what I'm going to go for. Maybe not quite so much. SY is coming a little bit. Okay, now first of all, let's take all these points here and let's bring them out all right so they line up but I don't you know in order to get them the right amount I'm going to turn on snap to vertex all right and I'm going to pull in the Y and just snap to that let's do the same with uh, these two pull in the Y and snap to that it's a little nicer let's turn that off so that is what I have now the next thing I'm going to do is go back into edit mode and in edge selection, select that edge and this edge and let's control B to bevel, let's curve this. Pull a good amount like that and then roll my mouse up. Now I don't want to roll it up too much because I want to keep my bevel. So one, two, three, four, there. That's okay. Okay, let's go back in and now what I'm going to do is in face selection, I'm going to select all of these interfaces. Let's copy this, shift D and P to break it out and select just that. All right, and I'm going to add modifier solidify and I'm going to choose even thickness and I'm going to Hold shift as I grab this and pull to the left. Let's now move the solidifier above the bevel. We'll have this effect so we get a little internal thing. Now, back at my bevel here, I'm going to switch this over to angle and choose arc, shade smooth. I'm going to do the same thing, I think, here. Let me just have a look at this. Angle. Outer. Shift arc. And shade smooth. I think I'm going to prefer that. I'm not going to worry about these little artifacts right now. I'll deal with that. Okay, so that's what we have so far. 